In the studio is our French politics editor, Mark Perelman. Uh, Mark, first of all, extraordinary low turnout figure. What are the reasons for that? Many uh, reasons, uh, Annette. First of all, it was a very unusual election. It was an election that was supposed to take place last year because of COVID. It was postponed, so uh, the date of the election was rather uh, inu unusual. And uh, truth to be told, uh, the French are more concerned about uh, mass mandates uh, being terminated just a few days ago. And uh, yesterday, the first day of voting was the first day without a curfew for the past eight a month. Uh, so that's one uh, reason. But obviously, the main reason is that the French are not interested in those regional elections. And some would say they are not happy what with what politicians have to offer them. And so, uh, essentially, they've decided to boycott the vote. It's true. Over two-thirds of the French not going to the polls is unheard of in an election under the Fifth uh, Republic. So that's clearly a warning sign uh, to politicians. It also means that the lessons you can draw from uh, yesterday's round one of the regional election is certainly not a lesson for next year's uh, presidential election. But let's just go through who are the winners and losers. It was a bad night, wasn't it, for both President Macron and Marine Le Pen, for instance, but a good night, however, for the sort of traditional centre-right and centre-left oh. parties. Yes, absolutely. It's kind of counterintuitive because uh, since the 2017 election of Emmanuel Macron, there's been this notion that there's only La République en marche versus the national rally and that all the traditional parties have been wiped out. Uh, it's true. Uh, it, it happened during the presidential election, during the legislative election, but we've had European elections. We've had uh, those regional uh, elections and we've had municipal elections. And in all those elections, the traditional parties have fared fairly well. Clearly, yesterday night was a very good night, surprisingly good night for the Conservative Party. Their main leaders were able to hold on. And some of them, as we've seen in their reports, can really now start looking at a potential candidacy for next year's presidential election. Even the socialists were able to hang on to five regions uh, they control. And and the Greens, who won big in the last uh, municipal elections, are now saying, OK, we're a party, we're there, we can have a, a candidate. That being uh, said, uh, of, of course, uh, Emmanuel Macron and Marine Le Pen are still the clear favorites uh, for next year's election, because, as I said, this election was rather unusual. And uh, the race seems to be still between Emmanuel Macron and Marine Le Pen, but clearly, there are some doubts that were sown yesterday night, and uh, the left and the right can maybe hope that uh, they can stage an upset. Uh, nobody can tell you today who's going to be France's next president. I won't dare to do so, uh, because obviously, there's still a lot of uncertainty in the months to come.